What is up guys? This is Migo Tech here with another episode. I'm here to talk about sort of leaving Instagram. So I've been at Instagram for four years now as an iOS software engineer. I worked on a bunch of teams like the ads team, um, the search team, working on a whole bunch of the products, pretty much touched all corners of the app, but I'm leaving Instagram. So it's been, um, it's been one heck of a journey and it's not really what I had expected in terms of just being there for so long. I think the thing you miss the most is going to be the people. And for those of you that keep asking me about tech support, about your Instagram account that's been lost or compromised, I can't really help you. Um, I don't really work there anymore. <laughs> so if you have a problem, I think there's like an email address that you can send an email to, so do that. Yeah, I'm just here to talk a little bit about sort of why I think you should also leave your company or consider leaving it. I wanted to give you guys something that I took away from my time, which is maybe the five reasons as to when you should think about leaving a company. So without further ado, let's start with number one. You're too comfortable. You've been working at a company for a long time and you feel really comfortable. You've been doing the same stuff over and over again and you can do it easy, no problem. But that's not really where growth comes. Growth comes from doing things that are different and experiencing something that challenges you. So if you feel like you're kind of at the same place you've been for the last year or two, you might want to consider trying a different company because if you just keep doing the same stuff over and over again, you know, there's one, there's a difference between someone that has like one year of experience that's um, repeated four times or five times versus someone that has four or five years of different experiences, different projects, different difficulties. There's uh, a lot more that you can learn from that. So yeah, just uh, consider not being too comfortable. Number two, compensation. Compensation is an important part of why we work. I mean, we don't work for free, nobody does. So it should be one of the big reasons that you think about leaving your job. Maybe you feel underpaid. You've been working there for four or five years and it's been the same stuff over and over again. And now you're suddenly not just being paid that well. In tech, often we have a four year cliff. So you get your stocks for the first four years and then afterwards you don't have much reason to stay at the company because your stocks have already vested. There's not really much holding you there. So it makes more sense to leave the company and go somewhere else. If this happened to you, you might consider leaving for somewhere where you have a new four year equity grant as opposed to staying at the same company and being underpaid. And in addition, each year tech salaries have been getting more and more insane. Like right now you can get some serious compensation from a private company um, that really wasn't possible five, ten years ago, something like that. So just constantly being able to improve your compensation is a big factor. Number three, a lack of interesting projects. Let's say you've been working on the same stuff and it's been really boring. Um, this goes hand in hand with number one where you feel too comfortable, but instead of feeling comfortable, it's more like you just don't get the chance to work on anything interesting. The same stuff you've been working on and it's like really easy stuff for the most part. It's like change a button color or improve some logging flow or write a test for some small component. You never get the chance to really build out your own views, to really um, expand on a whole re-architect the server infrastructure or to build out a full uh, feature product on the front end. And if you feel like you have a lack of these sorts of interesting projects, that might be a time to actually look at a different company because these projects are really what motivates you to keep building things because you get to see your actual work impact people and it's way satisfying when you get to build something big. And to do that, um, other companies are building big things all the time that people get to see. There are so many interesting projects out there and so many interesting companies out there that are constantly re rechanging the game, reinventing new things that are building new features, new products that people really care and love. So, you know, one example of this is Clubhouse. It's an app that only recently blew up in Silicon Valley, but, you know, people said social media was dead, that wasn't anything interesting, but that's like an interesting product that people could be working on or working on some new interesting products from a different company. You know, there's so many opportunities out there that you shouldn't feel that you're beholden to the one company. Number four, culture. 
Culture is super important. It probably is the most important thing. I probably should have put it first. The reason it's so important is because the people you're working with sort of determine how you're going to end up working. If you work with really interesting and smart people, you're going to learn a lot more than if you work with dumber people or people that aren't as motivated or don't know what they're doing. So just the opportunity to work with smart people is really great. And also the opportunity to work with nice people, people that can mentor you or be mentored and people that you can have around you. I think that is probably the thing that I'll miss the most about um, working at Instagram is the people. And I think for people, a lot of people don't have that sort of environment at the company. I know that some, I've worked at places where it felt a little bit like the people weren't as excited or motivated and it just feels really demotivating in the end. So I would say just look for a place where if you feel that the people at your organization aren't really that great, maybe consider going somewhere else. And, you know, some signs of it might be they don't take feedback very well, there's a lot of politics at work, um, you don't get along great with your manager, maybe your co-workers are really focused on what they're doing and they don't want to help you or vice versa. If these are like warning signs and you checked off the boxes for them, consider working for somewhere else because not every place has a bad culture. So you want to look at the team culture and the company culture. You know, what are people saying about the company? Is it a good company to work for? Do they care about their employees? All of that stuff. Number five, the other opportunity is just too good. If you're working for a company for a while, you might not realize just how great the other opportunities are out there. Um, if you interview with other people, you can see sort of what are they working on? Why is it interesting? And are these other opportunities worth pursuing? They might be better in team culture or um, in terms of compensation or any of these other factors that we just discussed. It's just really important to look at what your current environment is. How does it compare with all the important bullet points? And then how does another work environment compare? And if you see that maybe your current environment is lacking in a number of these bullet points, but the other environment happens to be so much better in all of these, then it might be time to consider switching. And if you're looking at other opportunities, I would just recommend maybe consider looking at other opportunities every two to three years, maybe every round every promotion cycle, um, just because that way you can learn more and learn much more quickly if you have the opportunity to work at a different place. Because you can get a higher level, for example, and be on pace to do more interesting work. You could have more interesting projects. You could have a better team culture that's not as focused on um, politics. Yeah, I just think that it's important as uh, people to remember that, you know, you are paid for your, your work hours. You aren't working for free, so, and your time is also super limited. Um, so make the most of your time and consider working for other companies if your current company isn't working out. So that's it for me. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I'm really excited. I'll be working for another company soon. I already accepted their offer, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, please leave a like and a subscribe and hope to see you guys next time. Peace.